Uh, my name is Ed Johnston. I'm from the Oregon coast. Uh, one of my main uh, uh, circumstances is dealing with uh, 1989. I got my neck broken on the job with a 1914 workman's comp case that uh, under commercial zone is supposed to protect uh, legal Americans uh, under commercial zone. Uh, I ended up um, getting my uh, neck broken in the process of that. Uh, the workman's comp decided after they just totally disabled me in 1994, said that there was a strain on a broken neck. And when the Liberty Northwest Insurance Company totally disabled me in August 1990. Uh, workman's comp originally was written so that way we were covered uh, from commercial zone. We were to get a lump sum check compared to the structure of the public and private unions because the public employees union used to be a monthly staple with a, a, a little bit of bonus with it. In the private sector, you got a major check that was supposed to cover all your expenses for life and all that. Uh, in Oregon and the federal government, they started changing that so that way you didn't get a lump sum check either side that you ended up in a the system. They put the money into an insurance bearing account today and so when you pass the stockholders get that money now the public don't get the money they have changed the whole system so that way it's financially benefit for the stockholders of the insurance company under 1914 workman's comp the legal americans are the original stockholders and they've been changing this under the corporation name called the corpse and it's very disgusting how they've been doing this so i'd like to see the workman's comp system go back i did have a bill in the oregon state senate bill 917 uh, in 2007 and this was basically so people could write their own check when they got disabled and proved it without a shadow of a doubt because our system has failed us and if we don't start understanding and predicting this back to our system we're not going to have a future neither are our children especially when the corporations are running your life instead of you having your own constitutional rights and most people understand how the circumstances is it's called your straw man account that's your birth certificate this is how they write off debt and please look at the uh, reference of that uh, circumstances your straw man account also too your two numbers that are on your birth certificate you could put it into the stock market and that exchanges how the banks and the federal government writes off the debt for you today and when you use that for tax purposes they put that debt on to your child so when your child becomes 21 they end up picking up that debt for the money that you got today called off your birth certificate and that's where most people don't understand this and they're using all that in all the agencies uh, everything from your driver's license to your homes and everything else and violating our constitutional rights to a commercial zone and it's very frustrating because people are allowing this because they don't know better or they're too afraid to stand up or they're too afraid to even change anything because they're afraid of their own shadow and so until we get back to our system, what our forefathers actually gave us, so we weren't in debt. We're not in debt technically in our system at all anyways. But our forefathers set up you know, our taxes and insurance so that way we actually had some freedom in commercial zone for our freedom of life.